Hello and welcome to the opening episode of this new series called Raman Rewinds. In this series, I'm going to be talking about uh, my colleagues and also my seniors who have enthralled the fans in India and across the world with their fantastic brand of cricket and their exceptional talent. When I started the series, I was uh, thinking as to how I start and who would be the first person that I'll be talking about. Then obviously, this being the month of April, what better choice than uh, someone who celebrates his birthday in this particular month on the 24th, that too. He has become almost one amongst the family in every household in India. His birthday is celebrated every year in the last 35 years or so with the same fervor as you would one of your own family members. Now I'm going to try and pay a tribute to him, especially uh, with him getting to the 50 year mark. Congratulations first of all Sachin Tendulkar and uh, I'm sure that uh, you will go on to do in life what you did on the cricket field as well. Once you cross 50, you ensure that you reach the 100 mark. May God be with you and bless you in you achieving that hallmark in life too. Sachin Tendulkar, the phenomenon, is uh, not only a great batter but a fantastic human being as well. I first came across him uh, during the Irani Trophy in 88-89 when we both were picked for the rest of India side against Delhi. This was played at the Vankade Stadium. And prior to that, I had uh, met Raman Lamba when uh, Delhi and Tamil Nadu played uh, a Will's Trophy game in Bangalore at the tail end of the earlier season. So I asked Raman Lamba if he had seen Sachin Tendulkar and uh, what he thought of him. Of course, then Raman Lamba reminded me that um, he had seen him score a half century against them uh, on a turning track. And uh, his uh, summation was that WB, even if this boy goes on to lose half his talent on the way up, he'll be a world beater. Those words ring in my ears even today whenever the name Sachin Tendulkar is mentioned or when I read about him or when I see his picture or a video. And in the Irani Trophy, Sachin Tendulkar scored a 100 even though the rest of India said lost to Delhi. That uh, century was uh, one which will be remembered for many reasons. One is that uh, Sachin Tendulkar made it a hat-trick of sorts. He had got a 100 on Raji Trophy debut and also in the Dundi Trophy debut and then uh, the Hirani Trophy debut as well. So, he was one who was making waves not only in terms of his talent uh, being spoken about but also in terms of churning out numbers and that too under difficult situations. He might not have got the century, but for Pushar and Singh, whose hand had fractured, walked out to bat to ensure that the young man got his 100 on debut. Of course, by no means it was a situation where Sachin's 100 would have won the game for the rest of India side, but it's just that Pushar and Singh felt that a young man in his uh, mid teens deserved uh, him to be a bit brave so that uh, he would achieve that uh, landmark of getting a 100 on Irani Trophy debut. Sachin Tendulkar, the fantastic human but that he has been, he ensured that he repaid that good act of Bhushan Singh when Bhushan Singh had a benefit game much later in life. It was at a time when Sachin Tendulkar was really busy in international cricket and everybody wanted him to be present at different places at the same time. His schedule was so busy but yet Sachin Tendulkar made it a point to go and play the benefit game so that Bhushan Singh could uh, obviously uh, garner some funds uh, to help him uh, get some financial security in life. Sachin Tendulkar, of course, then uh, made his debut much later against Pakistan immediately after the Dirani Trophy. And then uh, I don't need to uh, go on about what Sachin Tendulkar achieved because a lot of people over a period of almost four decades have uh, exhausted all the adjectives that are there in the dictionary. They have uh, typed with to the bones on the keypad. They have exhausted the ink uh, that is sold on the market. 
writing about Mr. Tendulkar. But nonetheless, what is really sort of endearing about Sachin Tendulkar is the empathy that he felt for his fellow cricketers who are not having the best of times on the field. He would feel for them at the start of his career, but when he went along and became a statesman of the team, he would go and offer them advice, he would take them out to net sessions, make them work on what they needed to improve upon. And that is the kind of responsibility he took, that's the kind of empathy he had, and that's how much he felt for his fellow cricketers. The other thing was the impish sense of humour and his uh, inherent nature to play pranks on his uh, fellow teammates. I distinctly remember on the tour of uh, New Zealand in 1990, this was early days for Sachin Tendulkar, where he could be carefree, he didn't have to really bother about too many things. But things became different uh, very soon after. Uh, but on that tour, what uh, happened was that uh, we both uh, got hold of a bowling machine and uh, we wanted to have a hit. We went and had a hit and then uh, Vivek Rastan came and joined us. Uh, he was helping us out and then suddenly such Tendulkar <laughs> got into the mood of making Vivek Rastan have a net as well of the bowling machine. So, he started feeding the balls and I knew there was something coming along the way. And I was proved right when such Tendulkar gradually started spiking up the speed that was uh, uh, being operated upon on the bowling machine and it came to a stage where it almost hit the machine at 100 clicks per hour and I knew, I knew from his expressions that uh, he is definitely up to something. I told Saj, Saj, don't really play the fool here, he can get injured badly. He said not to worry and then he let one go at 100 clicks per hour and Sachin by the time had got a measure of the bowling machine, how to control the bowling machine. That's one thing about Sachin Tendulkar. He is always very sure. He uh, doesn't waste time in trying to sort things out. So he had ensured that the line was way outside the off stump and the length was such that Vivek Razan would not get terribly injured. So by the time Vivek Razan reacted, the ball had just disappeared in a flash. And Vivek Razan was absolutely sapped. It took some time for him to get over. And in in all those minutes, Sachin Tendulkar was having a great laugh because he had his share of fun. It was not that he was trying to insult Vivek Rasdhan, it was just that it was his impish nature that came to the fore. But very soon, what happened was he had to shed that, he had to restrain himself because anything and everything he did became news. And he also realized humor can be a double edged sword. What can be liked by one half of uh, the population can be disliked by the other half. You never know how it pans out. So, he had to restrain himself and ensure that uh, he was a lot more controlled and uh, had to be really mature at least to keep a lot of people uh, satisfied. Sachin Tendulkar always has been a, a kind of uh, person who liked to have a lot of fun. And uh, even the last time that I met up with him, uh, I, I got to see glimpses of the child being in him still there. He might have uh, joined the 50-year club, but that particular child in him is still very much there. And uh, I hope it continues to be there for a long, long time to come. And as far as uh, the cricketing side of his concern, uh, he did not really sort of think he knew everything. He was always prepared to learn and he was always keen to listen to everybody else. He would always discuss and uh, ego is something that nobody ever can talk when it comes to Sachin Tendulkar. He never had any kind of ego. He was always willing to learn. He was always very polite. He always uh, ensured that he heard uh, other people's opinions as well. Yes. He might sit you down and try and convince you even if it took him 2-3 hours time but he would always talk to you very very uh, cordially and in a nice tone and in a very respectful manner. That's such an internal for you. And I was reminded of one particular instant when it came to about this cricket. 2006-07 uh, uh, I was a coach of the Tamil Nadu side and uh, Tamil Nadu was playing against Bombay, the inaugural edition of the Syed Mushtaq Ali Trophy. So, we were just talking, I had met Sachin 
after a long, long time and uh, just trying to find out if I keep tab on what is going on and if I watch cricket regularly. And uh, I told Saj, I said, as I used to, but I stopped uh, uh, because of you. My watching was because of you and my stopping watching is also because of you, Saj. I told him, so he was taken aback. He said, what is it that I've done to stop you from watching cricket? I said, you stopped playing those back to punches, which is what was a star attraction for me. Now that you stopped playing those shots, I think uh, I decided that it's not uh, really worth watching. Then uh, Sachin being Sachin, he said, uh, why do you think I'm not playing? I said, uh, I don't know, but I said, uh, maybe uh, because of the injury or the, the back lift and the downswing, I mean, changed. The flow is a lot more restricted than it was before. Maybe that's the reason why you won't play the back foot punches like you did at the start of your career. And I said, obviously, uh, you know what shots to play. You are a master of sussing things out and you know what what, what not to do. And then um, I walked away. Just before I was uh, opening the door of my dressing room, he called out. He said, Who is the Rana? Then he said, Batao kya bola? Batao. He took a bat and uh, he gave it to me. He said, Hold the bat. Batao kya bola? Batao to me. Then I had to demonstrate to him. Then he he tried it out. Then he said, uh, Agla series dekna. I said, Agla series dekna to teak hai. Agar kelega ki nahi ho batao. So he said, Dekna mai batao na. Abhi ziddi mat kar. So I said, Okay, Baba, dekta ho. So, next series he played, of course, uh, I did watch, I made it a point to watch, I know Sachin Tanuka would not leave it at that, you know, for the discussion. So, he played um, three, four back foot punches, then uh, two, three days after the test match, he asked me if I watched the test match, I said yes. Uh, I told him the scores when he played those back foot punches, for example, if he went from 104 to 108 playing that punch, I told him that's when you played this, that's when you played this. So. That way, you know, both of us were clear that we are not fooling each other. And Sachin Tanulkar has an elephantine memory. And uh, that was obviously uh, proved by the fact that he called me and asked me if I watched. And uh, we discussed about that and uh, that was that. So that goes to show that uh, at any stage of his career, he was always willing to learn. And... Uh, uh, he was never shy of um, discussing, asking people if there is something he could do better or why is it he was not doing a few things. Uh, that is the greatness of that man. Obviously, now uh, he's is uh, enjoying cricket uh, in his own way. And uh, now also, cricket is also going to give him a few tense moments because his junior, Arjun Tanika, he started playing cricket. He's got up to a reasonably decent start in the IPL. Yes, of course, uh, the young Tendulkar is a very hard-working boy and I'm sure Sachin Tendulkar would uh, try and ensure that his son would uh, gain the benefit of all the experience he has garnered over a period of 34 years as a cricketer, and, uh, a responsible father and a loving father that Sachin Tendulkar is. He would provide his junior with every ounce of encouragement that he can muster. I wish both uh, Sachin Tendulkar and Arjun Tendulkar the best and Sachin, once again, happy birthday, belated it is, but uh, um, the fact remains that we all will be keen and we'll be praying uh, for you to complete a hundred in life as well. Go well, Sach, and uh, once again, all the very best for uh, you and for uh, Junior's career. Sachin Tendulkar obviously is uh, one who will always be in the hearts of the people whose birthday in the coming years also will be celebrated with the same fervor and the same enthusiasm as it was done in all these preceding years. And uh, I'm sure that uh, Sachin Tendulkar is one who will also appreciate the affection that everybody showers on him. And, uh, this is a series where I'll be talking about a lot of uh, great fantastic cricketers and human beings in the future episodes so don't miss out on them until i catch up with you next time be good and stay safe